High school students in the Leander ISD are enjoying a few extra days of summer break. The district's first day of virtual school was today, but high schoolers found out last night that didn't apply to them. Their classes today and tomorrow are canceled because of an online connectivity issue. Middle school students had connection issues today as well. Those are just some of several hurdles we expect to see throughout this unique fall school semester. And with that in mind, over the next several days, We'll bring you stories from our Set for School initiative as both students and parents prepare for an unprecedented return from the summer vacation. Today, KXAN's Tom Miller talked with Leander ISD Superintendent Dr. Bruce Gearing. He asked him about what happened with the high school classes and the risks presented by the coronavirus and getting students back on campuses. Thank you so much for joining us, Dr. Gearing. I want to ask you, I know it's the first day of school, but a rough start for the high schoolers, probably about 13,000 students who are expecting to start today. That got pushed to Monday because of a technology issue. What exactly happened? Yeah, so I appreciate you saying a rough start for high school students. I think our high school students are perhaps the only ones who are happy at this point in time about us putting school off until Monday. Um, we did have a vendor issue with our content web content filtering service. Um, they gave us a call about three o'clock yesterday afternoon to let us know that um, all the work that we've been doing this summer to ensure that we can get all 18,000 of our uh, Windows-based machines online together at one time, um, starting this morning. Um, the reports that they gave us as late as last Friday were that we were gonna be able to do that. Everything had been tested and everything was looking good. Um, and about 3 p.m. last night, they called us and said, we made a miscalculation. Um, we've had an issue with another school district that started earlier in the week, and that's what pointed us to this issue. And we're only going to be able to get about 12,000 of your machines online. I know at this point, the plan is to have the first three weeks of school be virtual from home, and then students who've opted in can come back uh, to campus. Is there a definite date though for when that's going to happen and how many students do you expect? How, th how is that all going to work? The plan is right now uh, that we will be taking a waiver request to our board for approval next week to allow us to have that additional four weeks that TEA has offered us um, for virtual learning um, starting on September 8th for an additional four weeks out. We're not intending to be 100% virtual learning after September 8th. Our intention is to start bringing students back, um, but the health officials are advising us that we need to do that in a very measured way. And so we'll be phasing students back in likely, um, potentially starting with 25% of our capacity. How do you decide who that original 25% that comes back on campus is? This is gonna be our highest needs children wherever possible. So our special needs children, our youngest learners, um, are going to be first on that priority list. We're also going to prioritize staff children. What is the protocol if and when a student or staff member or multiple start um, to get positive test results for COVID-19? We're working very closely with the health authority to make sure that um, you know, we keep our staff and our students safe and that will potentially include closing down classrooms and closing down um, schools potentially at some point in time. 